What is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm, I went to high school, but that's, uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. If you don't come with facts and preparation to answer questions, you're going to end up as Senator John Kennedy's lunch. Yesterday on Capitol Hill in the Senate, one of our favorites, one of our absolute favorites, Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana, he had two different hearings. This is like going to Disneyland and winning the lottery on the same day. One of them was a confirmation hearing, and the other one uh, was a hearing about climate change. Two things that John Kennedy is really, really, really good at. So let's start here with a judge who the Biden administration is trying to elevate to a higher federal court. And there were big headlines about this nomination last month because it's in the Chicago area and the judge in question here is Latina. And last time we checked, the Biden campaign is very interested in trying to bolster their credibility with the Latina and Latino populations. Because right now, if you're born of Latin descent or if you're Hispanic in this country, you're not very happy. You're not very happy about all of the things that most Americans are not happy with. But when it comes to the border, you're super ticked off. Because in many respects, you actually follow the laws and you came here legally. And now you're seeing what this guy is doing for all these people who are jumping in line and breaking the law. Also, you're not very happy because all the criminals who are coming in right now across the border, they're living in your neighborhood. And they're criminals. And so it's not very safe for your neighborhood. So we got to we gotta pay them off somehow. We got to bolster our cred. We got to have a talking point at the convention. So let's nominate this new, big, exciting, young Latina judge and elevator to the appeals court. The only problem is she has to get confirmed by the Senate. And that's where John Kennedy comes in. Because John Kennedy asks questions. And the questions he asks aren't, tell me about how great it is to be a Latina judge. No, he asks questions like this. When you were a partner in your law firm, you volunteered to, uh, to, to, uh, to write a brief on behalf of the Brady Center. You wrote the brief, and this is what you said. You volunteered for this. You weren't being paid. Is that right? Uh, this was a pro bono case that one of my partners brought in, yes. Um, you said, quote, assault weapons may be banned because they're extraordinarily dangerous and are not appropriate for legitimate self-defense purposes, close quote. T tell me what you meant by assault weapons. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Just to clarify, <laughs> just to clarify there, I was local counsel. Um, our Supreme yeah, but you wrote the brief. Tell uh, me what you meant by assault weapons. Senator Kennedy, actually, I, I did not write the brief. Um, the brief was written by... Um, you signed the brief, though, didn't correct. you? Correct. I signed and the brief. You sign a brief, you're testifying to the court that everything in it is is true, right? Yes. Okay. That, and, and I... I so I, they're your words in terms of the court, right? Well, I, you're, you're correct, Senator Kennedy. Okay. I would never so tell sign... Tell me what you meant by assault weapons. So I, I am not a gun expert, and at the time, that brief, I think, was about but 10 years. given the court advice about, say, ban assault weapons. What is, I'm just, you, you told the court you were, you, were, you were an expert. Just tell me what you wanted to ban. Senator, sitting here today, um, as I said, I did not write that brief. I was local counsel. Sign the brief. I understand. At, at the time Tell that, me what you wanted to ban. That's all I'm, I'm going to know. I, I don't remember the exact definition of assault weapons in the, the ordinance that was at issue. So you submitted a brief to the to, 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 to an appellate brief, you signed it, and you don't know what, and you said abolish assault weapons, and you don't know what you wanted them to abolish? Senator, at the time that I signed the brief, I, I read the brief um, because the, our Supreme Court required someone, an Illinois bar member, to sign the brief. I was not responsible for researching the content. You were I, responsible I, I, for the brief. I, it, absolutely, absolutely. And sitting here today, I do not remember the characteristics of, of 
that were that were cited in the ordinance for the assault weapons ban. Right. It's not an area of practice that I have um, specialized in. I'm sure if 10 years ago, I, re I would I could have answered your question. And it's Judge, sitting here want, today. You want you think Senator, you deserve to be promoted? What's this record? Senator, I I stand by my record. I stand by my record. <laughs> That's actually my favorite part of the whole thing. After he's reduced her to a babbling, incoherent lump of flesh. And the entire time she's saying, well, I put my name on it, but I didn't write it. I didn't write it. I didn't research it. I don't know when it's in it. And I certainly can't remember anything what is in it. But I stand by my record. <laughs> you stand by what exactly? You stand by the thing that you now claim you didn't write, didn't read, didn't research and can't remember, but you stand by it, whatever it is. Also, by the way, in case you didn't notice, I think it's important for me to point out, she's lying. She's a thousand percent lying. Let me ask you something. If you were a judge and you signed your name on a brief to the court demanding that a certain kind of weapon be banned, thus infringing upon people's Second Amendment rights. And this is obviously something that is contested on a regular basis in the courts. This is not, anyone who tells you, well, this isn't a violation of the Second Amendment is an outright liar or an imbecile, possibly both. But if you're a judge, you put your name on this thing saying, absolutely ban assault weapons. You're telling me you don't know what you're talking about? You're telling me you don't have a good work at Listen, maybe she didn't. Maybe she had no idea what she was talking about. Maybe she had no idea how assault weapons were defined in this document. That frankly makes it worse. But you're telling me this is a one-off and then she never thought about it again. You're telling me that 10 years later, it doesn't have an indelible memory ingrained into your head. Absolutely, I put my name on it. And yes, we should ban those things. This is what it is. And this is what should be banned. She's lying. She's lying a thousand percent lying. And it's not like over the last 10 years, this issue hasn't come up because it comes up every freaking month because Democrats raise a ton of money over it. And as I've told you before, the dirty little secret, they don't want to ban so-called assault weapons. They don't want to do that. They want the issue so they can raise money and they can, they can highlight divisions in this country and pit Americans against each other. That's why they want this issue. If they really thought that the Second Amendment and private gun ownership was the real problem and the real root cause and the reason why we have violent gun deaths in America, then they would show their balls and, and move to repeal the Second Amendment. But they don't. Because they don't. And they don't have any except for their women, like Dylan Mulvaney, they've got some, but they don't use them for that reason. All right, let's move on. Because John Kennedy wasn't done. He then moved on to another hearing, and this one is just glorious. This one has to do with climate change, and most importantly, carbon dioxide emissions. And the Democrats, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I do know what they were thinking. They had as one of their star witnesses an Olympic cross-country skier who I think has some sort of Instagram or TikTok social media profile or he's an influencer or something, but he's a cross-country skier. And politicians do this. It's not exclusive to the Democrats. They put a famous person up there. They end up being a witness. They get to hang out with them in their chambers. They take pictures, makes them feel cool. That's fine. And usually it's about an issue that, for the most part, they can speak on. And usually they don't put them in a hearing where Senator John Kennedy is asking the questions. John Kennedy takes this whole carbon dioxide thing pretty seriously because he's from Louisiana, where they've got a whole lot of refineries. In fact, I think it's one of the few places in this country where we still refine oil into gasoline. They also have a major port where they import and export crude oil in this country. So carbon dioxide emissions mean a lot to him and his voters. And I don't care if you're a movie star, I don't care if you're a meteorologist or some sort of particle scientist, or if you're a cross-country skier, 
If you don't come with facts and preparation to answer questions, you're going to end up as Senator John Kennedy's lunch. And that's what happened to this poor guy. What is what is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. OK, I'm not a, I'm not a I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much, but. Well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. So so what is it you want us to do? I no, no, let me back up because I, I want to. I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere. Yeah. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. Well, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I'd like to know first if you know what it is. You want us to abolish fossil fuels? I never said that. You never have said that? No. Okay. What What do you think we ought to do with fossil fuels? What will we do with fossil fuels? Yeah. Should we make any changes? I would like to see a decrease in the use of fossil fuels. I think there's a possibility to use more electric generation. Okay. Over... Over what period of time? 10 years, 50 years, 100 years? That's not, I would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing. How fast? On. Sorry? How fast? I'm not, I don't have a good you don't answer know? for that, no. Okay, you just think, well, uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah, but it's going to cost money. You realize that? Yeah, but we've also talked about the the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. so Right, but it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just think we ought to do it. I... I don't have a great answer for you, but I think okay. I would. Like if to we spent if we neutral. spent those trillions of dollars and became carbon neutral by 2050 in the United States, um, which you advocate, how, how much will it reduce world temperatures? I don't have an answer for that. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? I think, as an athlete, I think if we spend that money and invest in our future, hopefully those temperatures stop rising and maybe the snow at least stabilizes where it is for me. But yeah, I don't think anyone knows for sure. I don't know anyway. Well, when, 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 when my colleagues invite witnesses to come to us to tell us, uh, advise us on passing legislation, I always check out the background of our witnesses because I like to know who I'm talking to. Now, I've seen enough of these uh, John Kennedy investigations and queries at a committee hearing to know that what's about to happen is going to be glorious. Already, already, he has absolutely slam dunked on this guy. Like, it's a poster. He's like, it's, it's, it's beyond ugly. But now, now Senator Kennedy is going to delve into some of the past social media utterances of the young man sitting before him as an expert witness. Not any, and he, and he shied away from his, oh, I'm not an expert on the carbon dioxide, and I'm not an expert on that. Here, you know what he's an expert on? He's an expert on the fact that where he trains in cross country skiing, there's less snow than there was a couple of years ago. That's what he's an expert on. And of course, you and I probably reached the logical conclusion that, well, maybe the winters haven't been as bad as they uh, were before. And if you need to keep training, maybe you should go, you know, further north or further inland or maybe somewhere else to train because there's plenty of other places that have snow. Go where the snow is. It's the old Sam Kinison joke. You know, when you go to the starving Ethiopians in the desert, 
and say, move. We've got deserts in America too. We just don't live there because you can't grow anything here. You're whining at me about the lack of snow because you can't cross country ski, you poor baby. Move. All right. That said, what you're about to watch, it's the cherry on top. Um, I'm, I checked yours out, Mr. Schumacher, um, and I want to be sure I understand it as I evaluate your testimony. Uh, on June 8, 2020, you tweeted, I'm going to quote, the war on drugs was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse, end quote. The war on drugs, you said, was intentionally created to incarcerate black people en masse. Who, who intentionally created the war on drugs to put black people in jail? Who were you talking about? I don't remember typing that. You don't? No. It's on your Twitter feed. Maybe a retweet. I don't know. I haven't used that in a while. Well, also, even it if it's a retweet, like it's... it shows your support, right? Maybe, yeah. I. But it's not the topic of this conversation. I right, right. But it has to do with you're here giving us advice, and I just kind of like to know a little bit more about you. Yeah, I'm. You. I mean, I'm here as an athlete, giving you my story and what okay. I've seen in my. On, on August 27th of 2020, you tweeted this quote. I'm going to quote: "Police are paid with taxpayer dollars." If they are not answerable to us, we can demand new service, and that's what this is. Abolish the police in favor of that new service, end quote. You think we ought to abolish the police, do you? Again, not the topic I'm here to talk about today. I know, but but you tweeted it. Do you think we ought to abolish the police? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Should we do that before or after we get rid of fossil fuels? I'm not going to address that. That's... Yeah, you don't want to address it. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about one more of your tweets. You know, uh, real fast, and we will get to the last one because it's just, it's too good. Uh, what kind of weakling, righteous, woke stud like this shrinks into the corner and turns into a, a, a little schoolgirl when confronted with his own absolutely righteous opinions. I mean, this guy likes to parade around and join the the mob, right? With all of his opinions, you know, abolish the police and they're just trying to incarcerate black people and we got to kill fossil fuels and like everything, right? Everything. And he gets all the glory and all the attention. And here's his moment, man. This is his big moment, not on Twitter, not on TikTok. He's sitting there in a committee room at the United States Senate, talking to the man. I mean, not only is this a senator, but it's an old white dude from the South, a Republican. Stand up, brother. Stand up and tell the man exactly what he's got to hear. And what does he say? Uh, 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 I just hear as, I just hear as an athlete. I'm not going to address that. I'm not going to address that. What a... P word, let's say. All right, go ahead, Senator Kennedy. On August 26, 2020, you tweeted, there's a picture. I'm not going to describe the picture, but you said, quote, your words, not mine. It's on your Twitter feed. The, quote, this is what systemic racism looks like. The Los Angeles Police Department is literally policing only the Black Lives Matter side. End quote. What do you mean by that? This is still off topic. No, it's not. You're here as an expert telling us, <laughs> advising us, and I'm asking you about your, your, your background. I'm here as an athlete to talk about the effects of climate change on my sport. Okay, let's go back. Well, I'm almost out of time. Senator, you're well out of time, and we have other senators waiting, so okay. please wrap up when you have a moment. All right. Th thank you all for your testimony. <laughs> Sheldon White House, the chair. You think White House is going to do this again? You think the next time one of his members comes up, one of the other senators said, hey, Sheldon, I got this, this really cool influencer. 
He's a he's a you know he's a professional ballroom dancer, and he wants to talk about the environmental impact of air conditioning. God, it's going to be great for TV. Let's put him on. Sean Whitehouse is going to be like, eh, not going to happen. Not this time. Sorry. It's the Kennedy rule. We got the John Kennedy rule now. Not, never again. You almost felt sorry for that kid. Almost. Until you realize what a priggy little D-bag he is. And then you felt great about it. <laughs>